Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And today we're going to unbox and then review the EXA S30. These are bone conduction or ear conduction true wireless earphones, which come with a handy case and are promising some really good work-related uh, audio capacities without impairing your capacity to hear what's happening around you. So, um, just a bit of context, this is a set of review earphones that have been sent to us by EXA. Uh, I am uh, a bit biased, I do like EXA as a brand. Just to show you, for the last year or so, often for work, I use a, a, pair, a set of EXA H1, uh, it's actually not a pair, it's just a EXA H1 headset and it really does a good job uh, throughout the workday. So, let's start the unboxing. The packaging is uh, quite chunky compared to usual headphone packaging, and we'll see why in a moment. But usual cellophane, I'll use my jerry-rig everything knife to open up the cellophane. As we can see at the front here, we have a depiction of the product itself and its charge case. Um, on the left hand side we have a few specs, important to call, call out, open ear comfort, up to 30 meters of uh, wireless connection, they run on Bluetooth 5.3, they're IPX5 water resistant, so they'll take a few splashes but they're not really made to be used underwater, and they've got electronic noise cancellation and true base technology. A bit more of the details here and a view of how this is going to fit on the head. Let's open up the box itself, slide out the bottom box and see what's inside. In terms of packaging this is quite impressive. There we go. And on the inside first thing we see is Exa Telecom. So this will have all the documentation and instructions about the EXA S30. Little description of the contents of the box, quick start guide, and a bit more details on power on and off, how you power them on, on and off. So I'll keep this handy, it might come in handy in a moment. Let's have a look at the EXA S30 as the come out of the box. So this is a really nice case. It's like one of those slightly harder material cases with some good texturing so it's not slippery. It's also probably less likely to collect cat fluff but only time will tell. As you can see the branding here is embossed. It is a premium sort of metal finish EXA brand here for EXA Telecom and it has a handy little loop here. So if you have uh, if you were to, to put this on a carabiner, you could hang it from your uh, belt or from your backpack. Right, let's unzip that. There may be an appearance from my kitten, Ronan, who's here. And we have, first thing, USB cable. That's, I know that's important to a lot of people. It has an EXA branded cable tidy. And it is a USB-A to USB Type-C adapter. So great to see USB Type-C now being the standard. And, yep, I'll put this away. And then we have the earphones and the stand themselves. So a little bit of preparation here. Whoop, here's the ginger kitten I warned you about. Hey, Roman, you come to join the video again? Yes, you have. Right, um, as you can see, there's a bit of plastic here going to take this out because this is how the earbuds themselves or the I should say the earphones themselves charge so they go into the cradle like so and that should be then charging now you see that in this case one of them has a microphone attached the other doesn't this is the on off button in the middle nice big and orange and visible you can also feel it quite easily with your your hand and as I said, USB Type-C. At the bottom, you have a sort of rubber finish one. So this is a desk stand for charging your, your earbuds as you go. 
Now, this also acts as a power bank for the device. So it allows you to charge your, 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 your earbuds as you go. So I'm going to take the contact plastic off, make sure that's in place. There we go. It is quite sticky, this plastic stuff. So this is the EXA S30. And you'll see that now I've taken the contact protectors off. I've got light on the earbud here. And there's one on this ear as well. There is also, uh, as you plug them in, that little bit there. That's an LED to say that the earbuds are ready. As you can see, now it's flashing green for a moment. What I'm going to do is take my smartphone, pair a new device, and see what comes up. So there's a lot of elk there. There we go, EXA Telecom S30. I'm going to tick on that. Allow access, we trust EXA as a brand. There we are, they're now connected. Now what I'm going to do is take this off and put it around my ear. Interestingly, it's, it's a bit counterintuitive. This goes round the back of your ear and this sits across the top of your ear opening. It doesn't go into your ear. There we go, that fits comfortably. And this one will do the same on the left hand side. Now we'll just verify that that's working and we're going to do that by just opening my Audible. I'm going to say that we're ready to go. And in this case, I am listening to Nick Offerman's audiobook, Paddle Your Own Canoe. Wow, I'm really impressed. This is the best, best bone conduction earphones I've ever used. And if, you, if you've watched the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel, you know that I've reviewed and used as a user uh, these types of earphones a lot, but this is a whole step above that. It is in the same pr price range as some sports bone conduction earphones. But I have to say, these are definitely a step up. That's just my first impression. What I need to do now is go away and do my usual testing of these earphones, not just listening to, to Nick Offerman's voice whilst he goes through his essentially autobiography. Uh, I will use this for work, for listening to music, playing games, and get back to you with my full review. So bear with us, and if you do see an ad in the next few moments, please do watch it. It's just one of the many ways you can support the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Speak to you soon. And here we are, we're back. And as usual, when we do our reviews of earbuds, one of the important things we do is uh, call our chief aperture officer, Lukash, to give you an idea of what the microphone and the performance is like from the other end of a video call. So thanks for joining us, Lukesh. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Mata? Good, good, thanks. Um, I don't have a nice trip to, to warmer climates to look forward to like you do, but uh, I know you're packing a, a, a large lens. Uh, as Chief Aperture Officer, you should be doing packing a large lens to take to Africa. Show us, show us the good. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's really I'm, I'm heading out to uh, Kenya for a safari and just got a new lens for my A7S III uh, Sony camera. So really excited about that flying on Tuesday. What, what lens is it? It's Tamron 70-300. So. so a good, reliable brand. Uh, let's hope yeah. you get lots of wildlife pictures with that, that lens. You can do a YouTube video about it later in the year. <laughs> for, sure. for sure. But for now, let's focus on what we're here for, which is the EXA S30, uh, S30 headset. It's a telecoms headset. So unlike other EXA products we've reviewed in the past, this is about offering sort of business use for earphones. So it comes with, let me unplug this, the little uh, cradle that we saw earlier in the unboxing 
this is sort of a desktop uh, accessory. And in my use, around about five minutes of charging in the cradle for both earpieces uh, gives you about two hours of use. So I ran the battery down to the bottom, put in the, the earbuds, and with five minutes of charge, I did get a full two hours of use. So I've used these for work, for video calling friends and family, but most importantly, I've used it to carry on listening to the Nick Offerman autobiography on Audible, uh, Paddle Your Own Canoe, and uh, a series of podcasts such as the Android Faithful podcast, which you should all go and subscribe to, and also listening to the usual playlist, which is on YouTube Music. I'll link to it in the description. Uh, that gives you an idea of the type of music I use to test earphones to see if there's uh, somewhere we can trick earphones to struggling with bass and treble at the same time or excessive levels of one or the other. So things like 90s pop are really, really good at that. But the interesting thing is the Exa S30 are not a set of traditional earphones. They don't give sound from the earphone through your ear canal and moving air into your eardrums. The Exa S30 use bone conduction. So that means that they're taking the sound and they're transmitting them from the back of the headset. So from the back, the part against my neck, they're transmitting the sound through your bone, through your jaw and your, your, your skull to your, your ears. So this is a completely different way of reproducing sound. In my experience, the bass is really, really good. The treble is really good. It's eerie because you can still hear what's outside. So it's you get the sound, but you can hear what's going on outside. And more importantly, these also have uh, electronic noise cancellation, which is, is bonkers because the part that's in front of your ear, as well as containing the battery and the chip that does all the hard work, it also contains, um, in this case, microphones that pick up the outside sound, the chip manages that and gives you noise cancellation through bone conduction, which it's magic. It really is incredible. <laughs> so I haven't been this excited about a product category for quite a while. As I said, if you've watched the Tech Travel Geeks uh, YouTube channel, you know that we've covered bone conduction sports focused earbuds or neck bands. Uh, over the course of the years. And I'm quite familiar with the technology. I quite enjoy it, when, especially when I'm out and about walking or flying my drone. In this case, for business use, I find these really, really handy because I can hear if my cat is doing something in the background. I can hear what's going on uh, in my household or in the environment I'm in. So these Exa S30 he headsets, I say headset, it's two sets, one with a microphone, one without, uh, is really, really handy. And it, as a viewer of this video, it's up to you to decide what you think the quality of the microphone is like in a relatively quiet environment in my household over a Microsoft Teams call with all the default settings on. Yeah, Lucas, sounds... what do you think of the sound from your end? Yeah, it sounds really good. I've not had any problems uh, hearing on, or understanding you. And when you move the Microsoft the uh, the, uh, the microphone away from your uh, uh, mouth uh, and from your ear, uh, it, it changed. So it clearly uh, works really well. Yeah. Uh, but hmm? the stem also has a mute button on it, so it's really easy to just click that and not have sound captured. If you're on a call and you maybe can't reach your your Microsoft Teams or your Google Meet uh, button to mute yourself. This might be an, a quick and easy way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Speaking of bone conduction, uh, not legal advice, but maybe it could be good for like bike riding because you, you would hear your surroundings quite well. Yes, um, that's one of the, the, the good things. So one of the reasons runners like bone conduction earphones is that they're more aware of the traffic around them, what's happening around them. Likewise for cyclists. Uh, one of the reasons, reasons swimmers use uh, bone conduction earphones is that they work better underwater uh, because they're not going through your ear canal and they don't rely on air to transmit the sound. So there's lots of benefits to it. 
Um, what I'm finding is not having something actually in my ear is much more pleasant than actually having earbuds or earphones on them. Uh, you can probably just see it here or in the, the B-roll that I'm going to be editing onto this video. They don't actually sit in your ear, they're just above it, and then they clip behind. And I have to say the S30 from Exa are actually quite light, so I, I quite like that lightness and not being in my ear. But thanks to Exa for sending us uh, this set of earphones uh, with microphone, this telecom headset from Exa. Exa is obviously a brand we've covered multiple times here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. What's different this time is that this is a such an innovative product uh, that Exa uh, have actually done a Kickstarter to fund this uh, to fund this product. Now I can only give you my experience of this review unit that Exa provided to me, but there are other influencers, YouTubers people who are audiophiles and audio experts, probably more than we are, who have also covered the product. So check out their videos. Um, we'll link in the description to the Kickstarter page where you can essentially pre-order the Exa S30 headset. As we saw in the unboxing, you get the case, you get the cradle, the cable, and the earphones themselves. Um, you can pre-order them with a relative discount to the recommended retail price. Uh, and also to the, I'll link also to the EXA products page on the EXA website. It is a really, really good product in my view. Uh, in the context of travel, that electronic noise cancellation may be useful if you're maybe sitting in a cafe and wanting to take a call. Um, as it often happens, you might get delayed, there may be a tube strike or a public transit strike, and you end up having to take a call in a star noisy Starbucks. I found that in noisy use, these are really, really good. So anyway, thanks to Exa for sending us this review unit. That's a pretty clear disclosure in my view. Um, and as I said, I'll link to the Kickstarter, the product page, as well as to my cheesy YouTube play music playlist that I use for testing audio products. Um, Obviously, this is our first proper video of 2024. Uh, when Lukesh gets back from his trip to Africa, uh, we will be doing a little bit more uh, in context of accessories, gadget, consumer electronics, and anything else we think makes the travel experience better. Lukesh, you're off on Tuesday. Any videos lined up before you leave? <laughs> uh, we still have the... Uh... Pixel 7 versus 8, or Pixel, what, which was 6 versus 8? Yeah, we still have another comparison to do. Uh, mm -hmm. We did a, a sort of final comparison uh, of Pixels uh, earlier in the month. I think we should wrap up to that Pixel comparison, because it's almost time to start looking forward to the Pixel 9 in 2024. <laughs> but hopefully before, that we'll see, hopefully before that, we see a Pixel 8a. But who knows? Uh, Google have been known to skip some versions of the A series. Anyway, um, as usual, thanks for watching if you made it this far into the video. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. We cover consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, and anything else we think makes the travel experience better. But for now, from me, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, everyone. Stop recording. Boom.